we are going to unlock the hidden power of curves tool and show you 10 amazing tricks and see what you can do with it. Before we jump right into the tricks, let's take a moment to understand what the curves tool is all about. The curves tool is a fundamental feature found in most image editing software programs. It gives you precise control over the tonal range and color balance of your images. Here I will be using Snapseed app to show you the tricks. Changing white balance of an image. If this looks too cool for you, basically you want to make it more warm. Here in the curves, select the blue option in curves and drag the curve down which reduces the blues in turn adds warm colors by adding yellows. Now we will fix the color balance manually with curves on this image. In curves, first I am going to reduce the intensity of the reds by dragging the red curve towards right. You see a lot of greens now. So dragging the green curve now towards right. It looks still warm. Dragging the blue curve towards left which should do the trick now. So we basically color corrected the image using the three colors in curves. Next, we are going to create a vintage effect for this image. With default selection of RGB curve, I will create a little S curve by adding brightness to the highlights and darkness to the shadows. Next, I will go to blue curve and drag it towards right to add a bit of yellow tones which gives this warm vintage look. To top this with another trick, we will create a vignette effect on top of this. With the new curves effect, we will drag the top right point down to darken the overall image. With masking, I will remove the darkened effect around the center which gives a vignette effect. With curves, you can add vibrance too. Just creating a S curve with the RGB option, you can also notice increase in vibrance and saturation with addition to contrast. Also if you do not want to add any extra saturation when adding contrast through curves, you can use the luminance curve which only adds contrast but not color to the image. We can do this glitch effect by using only curves tool. Basically we will be isolating each color channel and merging them. First I am going to drag the top point of the green and blue curves down which gives you this image with only red channel present. We will save this image. Similarly we will do this to the green and blue channels too. With all the three images saved, I will use double exposure feature to add these images on top of each other with about 50% opacity and offset each image a bit towards right and left which gives you this interesting effect. Here is an image with different exposures in different areas. To make this a bit flat, first I am going to increase the brightness with RGB curve. In masking screen, we will apply this effect only on the dark areas which brings back some light in those parts. Similarly with darkened effect, I am going to apply this on brighter areas which gives more even light to the whole image and fixes the uneven exposure. Now to add faded look for a moody effect, you just need to drag the lower point of the RGB curve a bit upwards, basically adding grey tones to the black areas which gives this faded look.
We'll replicate the split tone or color grade effect from Lightroom now. On this image, we'll try to add some warmish tones to the highlights and cooler tones to the shadows. Here with the blue curve, we'll drag the top part of the curve towards right which adds yellows to the highlights. Also dragging the lower part of the curve towards left adds blues to the shadows which gives you this split tone effect. For the next trick, I'm going to use this portrait where we'll do dodge and burn with curves. First, I'm going to darken the image with RGB curve. Going to masking screen, we'll apply this effect selectively to darken the shadows further, which gives depth to this portrait. You can take your own time doing this, it will certainly enhance the portraits. Similarly, adding brightness overall and applying it only on the highlights. This can make the portraits look very interesting. This last trick is kind of vintage. If you have any old negative films laying around, you just need to take a picture of it. Then drag the two points of the RGB curve towards their adjacent corners, which basically inverts the colors of the image and will get the corrected colors. Then you can adjust it further to fine tune it by cropping and adding contrast. Keep in mind, the scan negative can give you better results though. If you found this video helpful and informative, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more exciting tutorials, tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.